Uh-oh, looks like Bruce the Goose is at it again. So back in the fall of 2020, I answered a Craigslist ad from a guy who was looking to rehome one of his ganders. He had a small flock of buffs and he was looking to move one of them out. And me being the lover of geese that I am, I decided to take on his gander. And that's how Bruce the Goose came to Goldshaw Farm. Bruce is a buff goose, which is a different breed of goose than most of the geese on my farm. And buffs are best known for their color and temperament. They are very friendly, very docile geese. And when Bruce was first introduced to our farm, things were a little bit chaotic. But eventually things settled down and Bruce became part of our flock and even found himself a girlfriend. And as you guys saw in a recent video, the guy who gave me Bruce actually offered up four female geese to me as well. And I brought them to the farm last week. They've been living in quarantine ever since they got to the farm. And today's the day that I'm gonna be introducing these new buff geese to the rest of our flock. I kind of wonder what's gonna happen. Based on all the activity I've been seeing from Bruce, I'm pretty sure he recognizes his old lady geese, which is kind of remarkable because they've been separated for about six months now. Now the one thing I'm afraid of is, as I release these female geese today, I'm worried that I might have a little bit of chaos on my hands. I don't think it's gonna be as much as when I introduce Bruce, but things could get a little nuts today. Release the Kraken! <laughs> Whenever I make videos like this, I always feel like I'm David Attenborough or something. Watching our farm animals and how they interact is one of my three favorite parts about farming. Give me a minute, Brucey. I'll be right there with you, man. Over these last few days, there's been steady interest in the new geese from most of our geese, but no goose has been more interested in these geese than Bruce the Goose. Good morning, chickens. <laughs> Weird chickens. <laughs> Breakfast time. <laughs> Are you excited for this moment there, Brucey? How about you girls? <laughs> oh, all right. Based on past experience with birds, it's gonna take them a few minutes before they realize they can leave. <laughs> Or maybe not. They're all together now. It makes me so happy to see them as a family. You see Bruce right there in the middle and his ladies all around him. That's really nice. Of course the ducks don't quite know what to make of it all. That went pretty much just like I expected. It wasn't complete chaos, it wasn't total violence. Things got a little bit dicey there for a moment and the new girls are definitely attracting attention, but things generally got pretty peaceful pretty quickly. And because at this point our geese have so much space to roam, there really was no major threat of violence because the new gals and Bruce could just go off to the pasture and not be bothered. Of course, I will say it's pretty remarkable to see just how protective Bruce is of the ladies. I really wasn't sure if he would 
basically become a traitor and like act like he didn't recognize them or if he would say no these are my gals and protect them from the other geese and to be quite honest his protective instinct definitely kicked in there <laughs> now i'm not certain but this might be the first time that most of those girls have ever gone swimming in a pond i bet they're pretty happy with that they seem like it so for those of you wondering about our beehives I actually got a note from the woman I'm buying my bees from and apparently they're not going to arrive for a week later and so maybe a little later than I thought before I install the bees which to be quite honest I'm okay with because it's still been sort of a cold spring I mean it's hit or miss some days it's in the 60s some days it's in the 40s some nights it's in the teens some nights it's in the 40s it all depends if you look out there you can see Jemima Puddle Duck a few of our other ducks wandering out around the permaculture orchard. Makes me so happy to see. Pretty much just what I envisioned. Toby Dog's keeping close watch of things. Toby just took off like a bat out of hell. Something clearly caught his attention. Oh, wait, I think I saw it. I just saw like a little woodchuck or something run into that bush over by the pear tree. Toby's definitely got a beat on it. <laughs> you know, the one upside of the fence and having Toby is probably keeps the woodchucks away from us as well these days. How's it going there, Carmen? Let's go collect some eggs. Food time, guys. So with the grass turning on and the bugs coming out, I'm giving my ducks and geese about half as much food as I used to, but they still really like the grains every so often. Let's see what we're doing for eggs. Hey, Ron Swanson, you just laying an egg? Oop, yep, you can feel it. This is one of Ron Swanson's eggs. Yeah, I gotta say, the duck coop is getting much nicer now that I'm not leaving the water in there. It's a huge difference. Excuse me, miss, can I get in here? Can I? Please? Oh, I bet she was trying to lay an egg, so I'll let her go back to doing her thing. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. What do we got going on in here? Excuse me. And there's our mama goose. She's actually doing the best of all of them. <clears throat> More fresh eggs. It won't be long now, will it, mama? The laying season for my geese is definitely starting to slow down. So I'm gonna categorize the introduction of the four new buff geese as a success. Within the span of a couple of hours, the farm resumed its normal springtime tranquility. It's gonna be interesting to see how they all adjust and adapt over the next month or two, but it also kind of makes me a little bit happy that I've reunited Bruce the Goose with his family. So thank you to Jeff for passing along the geese. I, I really appreciate it, buddy. Now, if you guys are very curious about what's gonna happen with these geese over the summer, you should definitely gently caress that subscribe button right down there. And uh, also hit that little bell thingy for the notifications so you don't miss a single one of our videos because we'll be documenting it all and seeing what happens here at Goldshaw Farm.